Hey everybody, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today is episode 6 of Comics, Coffee, and Comments, where we show some great comics, you we drink some awesome coffee, and we read some of your comments you guys left on my previous videos. This is fastly becoming one of my favorite shows to do, and it takes a lot of work, but I like doing it. So, thank you guys so much. It's Monday morning, it's the start of a new week, and so let's see what coffee we're drinking. Today we're drinking Guatemala from Starbucks, uh, Casi Asilio. It's a limited 2018 edition. It's limited to as many as they can sell. So that's it. Anyway, it's very strong. It's extremely strong coffee. It's just fantastic. Um, so if you get a chance, if you want something to get you going, and if you don't mind strong coffee, uh, this is the coffee for you. So anyway, it's in my cup right now. And this is my Sasquatch cup, or Bigfoot, whatever you want to call them. Wow. That is, uh, that'll get you going. This is Monday morning coffee. This is definitely Monday morning coffee. Very good. Very good. Um, anyway, I want to talk about a couple things. I always see my uh, 500 subscriber contest is going on right now. Uh, for everyone who's entered so far, thank you so much. Uh, for everyone who's made a video, those are awesome. And for everyone who's left a comment and done the Instagram thing, that's awesome as well. I love reading them. I love hearing about your, your best finds or steals because I'm learning stuff as I read those. And I'm learning, like, some books I didn't know were valuable because there's a big time frame I didn't collect books. Um, I, and I learned that they're valuable, and I go and I look in my collection, and sure enough, I have them. So it's just awesome. I found like two or three books that I didn't know I have that are like, you know, worth like $100. So uh, thank you. Keep them coming. Two more weeks of the contest going on. Make sure you make a video if you get the chance. If not, just leave a comment and you're entered uh, or Instagram. Anyway, you can find that video and I'll link it to the end of this one. Uh, so that's fantastic. Um, another thing we got going on, I got a very special pickup that I got this week. I'm going to share with you here in a second. It's a uh, it's a piece of the holy holy grails of comic books, and you got to start somewhere, right? And comics with Bueller, <laughs> we got a piece of one of the holy grails, so it's very cool, and I'll show you here in a minute. Um, I just want to say to everybody out there who was on my live stream that I did a few nights ago. Thank you so much. It was fantastic. Um, I had a great time. I think everyone else had fun. Um, it was my first official live stream. The one I did the night before, I wasn't even trying to do a live stream. I was just trying to figure out how it worked. And then all of a sudden I was, <laughs> I was on live and uh, all these people started jumping in. And before I knew it, like two hours went by. So, you know, what, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, but the official one was great. I really enjoyed it. And then I did something dumb and I deleted it. And I didn't know I deleted it. And I made the idiot video because that's what I was. I kicking myself. Uh, but I had a lot of fun. I like doing the live things. I think it's great for the community. I try to be positive all the time And I think it's up to us to be great ambassadors of this community and to put out a positive message as Much as we possibly can so that's what I'm here to do and that's what I'm gonna do in the future as well Okay, enough of that sentimental stuff. Let's show you the piece of the grail Some of you guys have seen this on that deleted live stream this is Amazing Fantasy number 15. This is page number 14 from that book. And I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe there's a glare on it. I don't know. But it is one page. <laughs> like I said, I gotta start somewhere. This is the this is the trailer park version of Amazing Fantasy number 15. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with it, I'm sure you are. It's uh, the very first appearance of Amazing or er, of Spider-Man. And this is one page from that book, and it says, There are Martians Among Us, which is fantastic. Um, and that is that page, page number 14. So I'm collecting them one page at a time. Uh, when I get them all, I'll tape them all together, and maybe send it off to B PGX, as my friend Reggie uh, pointed out, and see what kind of grade they give me. So they'll probably be like a 9. So very cool. Anyway, guys, <laughs> this is Amazing Fantasy uh, number 15. One page, you gotta start somewhere, and that's where I'm starting. 
So it's cool to have, you know, it's a piece of, of a grail. And there it is. Anyway, you'll see it again uh, some more probably. Let me set that down. I want to jump into these books, and the rest of these books are going to be Iron Man. Iron Man is one of my favorite characters. I'm working on a run of them right now. But these next three books are three of the pieces of the grand prize in the 500 subscriber contest, and these are kind of the key, key books. Uh, so this is Iron Man number 169. This is where they get the uh, new Iron Man. Uh, so that's kind of a key book that's in the grand prize. This is Iron Man number 219. This is the first appearance of the ghost, uh, which is the villain in the new Ant-Man movie. Uh, so this book's starting to heat up. It's going for a few dollars on eBay, so that's kind of cool. And this is probably the main grand prize that's in issue that's in the grand prize. It's number 282 of Iron Man. Uh, this is the first appearance of War Machine. And uh, that's a pretty cool book. I'm glad to be able to give that out to someone. But this is just a small sample of what the grand prize is. And if you guys have seen that video, there's a ton of stuff. And uh, the next video I do, the update video, I've got a ton of stuff that I'm adding to it already. So make sure you enter. Anyway, I just wanted to show these so you guys can see these and know what uh, three of the key issues are in the grand prize. Uh, these next issues right here, they are not in the grand prize. Uh, this is just my collection. So, but before I get going on that, I want to read a few comments. And these comments are from the Blast from the Past uh, <laughs> video I did a while ago. This is one of my early videos. Uh, the video is basically about, I found uh, an old picture of my bedroom when I was in high school or uh, junior high or something like that and the picture showed all my collection of comics and all my what i thought was really cool things in my room and uh but there's a lot of neat things in there so if you haven't watched that video feel free to go check it out and i'll, I'll leave a i'll put the link right there for you guys to see it and uh but go take a look at it it's a lot of fun it's a great uh, trip uh to the past and if you guys have any pictures of your uh room when you're growing up or, or whatnot uh, share them because I think it's awesome. It's very cool. Anyway, uh, here's some of the comments. This first one's from Silver Age Dave. What's up, Silver Age Dave? He says, so funny. Other than the spinner rack, this room uh, looks like my dorm room. He says, and the cologne was potent too. 60% uh, uh, of the time it works. Enjoy this one, Silver. Um, so I showed my cologne was in the video and I pointed it out and that's what he's referring to. Um, it was like the Rite Aid version of Jacquard Noir, <laughs> and uh, it smelled horrible. And you know, I used to just paste that stuff on, you know, trying to uh, attract some ladies, and uh, it didn't work. Uh, anyway, thanks, Silver. Uh, this next one's from Paul Milton. Uh, he said, it "Was Spud house trained?" Uh, he's refer there's a <laughs> there's a statue of Spud McKenzie in my room. Have you? People who don't know who Spud McKenzie is, shame on you, because he was a he was a uh, like the uh, mascot for a beer Bud Light, I believe, if I'm if I, Budweiser or something, I think so. Uh, but uh, he was kind of popular back then. He had like a little spot on his eye and stuff like that. Uh, but it was just a porcelain statue, so yeah, he was house trained, so he never made a mess. Uh, my parents wouldn't let me have a real dog, so I have that uh, instead. All right, let's get to some books. We'll kind of blow through these pretty fast because this is going a long time. Uh, so this first book right here, this is great. And the only reason I wanted to show this book, Iron Man number 36, is because of the guy he's going up against. His name is Ramrod. And I really just want an excuse to say Ramrod on one of my videos. So uh, Iron Man is getting Ramrodded by Ramrod. So there you go. <laughs> um, this next one right here, this is uh, Iron Man number 38. This one's pretty cool, uh, nice and cover. He has his arm in a sling, which I haven't looked in the book and I don't know why it's in a sling, uh, but it's kind of interesting, I thought. And he's saving this lady, she's all tied up, and these guys are shooting him, and it ain't working. So what are you gonna do? Uh, this next one is number 39. I got this one for, guess what, three bucks. That was kind of cool. Uh, I just like the cover. Um, a lot of action, you know, it's got these guys flying around with jetpacks and stuff. 
it's the wrath of the white dragon so watch out for that white dragon uh, they can cause a lot of damage um, this one right here this is, this is kind of a key issue I think this is number 21 and Tony Stark you know he always gets frustrated he's never uh, uh, he's got some problems you know so he says let someone else be Iron Man I quit um, so he didn't quit he, he decided to stay Iron Man but uh, you know he, he lets his emotions uh, take over sometimes all right, let's get back to some comments. But first, I want to drink some of my limited edition coffee. Uh, that's a little too strong. Okay. This next one is from Bubs Comics. He goes, I think I have a, pic a picture from then. That's cool. I think I might have seen it because he did a video. Uh, he said, I uh, really enjoyed this one. He said, man, a nude post... <laughs> A nude poster and a beer dog. You had a cool mom. My mom would have taken me to church for asking. Uh, so I had a <laughs> uh, I had a poster <laughs> on my wall, and it was of a of a, a lady. She was you know a nude, but she had like stuff covering her lady business and stuff, you know. And uh, it was up in my room, and my mom never said anything. I, maybe she never saw. It, I don't know, but. Uh, yeah, she was very cool. She she was okay with that stuff, I guess. So, yeah, she was awesome. Uh, this next one is from uh, Charlton66. I got his name right this time. Very cool. It said, fun video. Wonderful spinner rack you got there. Well done. I hope you still have it. Uh, so, I in, in there, I have a spinner rack, which is really cool. I, I got it from a, a local drugstore that was closing, and they were throwing it away or something like that, and I just got it. And I kind of explained it in the video. Um, I don't have it anymore. Um, but maybe I'll tell you a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a sad story. So let's get back to some books here real quick. And this one right here, this, uh, these two are kind of connected. This is number 67 of Iron Man, The Fury of the Freak. And that's the freak right there. And he's throwing a car at Iron Man. And apparently he just punches it. So, you know, what are you going to do? But it's the Fury of the Freak, and this next one goes right along with it, because this is Fury in the Far Out Land. So we've got two Fury books going on right here. Uh, no appearance by Nick Fury, uh, but very cool, Iron Man number 73. Um, so, awesome book. Uh, we have another Iron Man, this guy right here, Iron Man number 91. It's the Controller. Uh, he likes to control things, and sometimes he gets lost in between the couch pillows. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. And the last one for this round is Iron Man number 182. This is in the morning. Tony Stark will be sober or dead. Uh, well, he didn't die, and I think he's sober now. Uh, like I said, he's got a lot of baggage. Um, he, he was alcoholic for a while and they did that storyline in Iron Man and that was very interesting um, so Tony Stark he's got a lot of demons you you think a guy that has all the knowledge and the money and the ladies he'd be doing all right but not this guy um, he's he's struggling so what are you gonna do all right let's get back to some last comments here this one is from Brian Rainey and I want to take a minute to uh, recognize Brian because Brian's going through some health issues right now. Uh, and Brian, take care of yourself. You're one of my favorite guys. I, I love reading all your comments that you will leave on my videos. So Brian, I've been thinking about you, and I've sent you a couple messages on Twitter and and uh, what's that on Instagram or whatnot. So uh, if you watch this video, please send me a message, update me, let me know how you're doing. We're all pulling for you, buddy. And take care of yourself. All right. Uh, but let me read his comment. He said, that was a great video. It brought back a lot of memories. I remember my room looking very similar. That spinner rack would have been uh, so cool to have. I'd, I'd still like to have one. Great video. Thanks for sharing. Um, I'd like to have one too. I, I, I think maybe down the road if I can get a good deal. The local comic shop showed me an ad for one that some guys are making. Um, and I'm, I might look into getting one. But it's purely for, you know, decoration you know they don't really serve any purpose beside that uh, but I wouldn't mind having it so very cool uh, this one other one is from Luther Manning uh, Patrick he says great video 
I like the comic wall uh, was awesome. The spinner rack story is so cool. Uh, so I had a comic book wall that I made in shop class and it was in the video, you, you can see the picture. Um, it held like 30 books, it was great. It was had a little stand on it so it would fold out and I took it with me when I did shows and stuff like that. So um, I don't have a comic book wall now, I'd like to make one, but I don't have any tools, so that's not gonna happen. Uh, one more last comment. Uh, this one is from uh, AFTA Comics. He says, great trip to the past. Love the spinner rack. I'm curious though, what happened to that spinner rack? Um, okay, well, I'll just tell you. <laughs> so I had the spinner rack and um, it was it was great. And then I got to a point where I was like, this room isn't going to impress any, any uh, females that I bring over. So I, uh, I greatly decided to switch up my room and hide all my comic books and and hide my spinner rack. Uh, that way if I ever did bring home a girl, which, you know, that didn't happen. Um, it wouldn't look like uh, like KB Toys. So uh, anyway, I ended up taking the spinner rack and uh, in the crawl space underneath the house, there was a little door to get in there and I, I jammed the spinner rack underneath the house and shut it. And uh, you know, that was years ago and then I moved out and my parents sold the house and all that stuff. So I'm sure to this day that that spinner rack is still sitting in the crawl space of that house right now. And actually that house is just a few miles away from where I live now. So I don't have it, that's what happened to it. I, I was being dumb as I do many times and uh, I lost it. So that is it. Okay, those are all the comments. I got some last books. This is a long video probably, I don't know. Uh, so let's go through these. Um, right, let me set these down. This is 191 of Iron Man. This is pretty cool. This is at last the return of the original Iron Man. He's got the old original costume on. Uh, it's not that great. It's basically just a trash can uh, on, on top of a guy's head. And uh, But he made it work. And then when the technology caught up, he uh, upgraded. So that was cool. Um, this one, I wanted to show this one because I don't like it. And the reason I don't like it is because this is issue 200. And this is where they changed the font of the Iron Man. And I don't like that font. I like the old one better. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to show that because, uh, you know, some, some things I don't like. But yeah, Iron Man number 200, 200. I don't like the font, so I don't like that book. But I have it. But let's go back 100 issues. Let's drink a little bit of coffee. I always forget to drink the coffee because I talk so much. Uh, Iron Man 100, iconic looking cover. Uh, one of my favorites. I picked this up not too long ago. Um, I just love that. It's got the font I like on it. Um, it's iconic looking, you know, it's got him sitting there. Um, got the 100 behind him. He's holding up some steel. Um, all that cool stuff. And it's a new stand. I don't know. Um, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, those are all the Iron Man books I wanted to show today. Uh, did you guys see Pee Wee Herman? He's making an appearance and it's not inside of a movie theater. So that's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> inside joke, I guess, maybe, dated. Um, like I said, 500 subscriber contest is going on. Uh, please enter a couple more weeks. Help me get rid of some stuff in my room. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. I love doing these. I'll be doing some more live uh, streams uh, very soon. We got our preview video coming out tomorrow night and a contest update video on Thursday and probably some other stuff. So it should be good. Okay, guys, it's Monday morning. Go out there, seize the day, make a new friend, and we'll see you next time here at Comics with Bueller. Take it easy, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that like button if you like what you see. And if you don't like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.